each year, it is estimated that one in three people over the age of 65 experience a fall. Although falls are a leading cause of injury in this age group, a fall can happen to anyone at any age, causing bruising, fractures and serious injury in some cases. Falls can also affect your confidence and independence. This presentation contains advice and tips to help you stay on your feet. In this video, we'll highlight falls risks and tell you how you can avoid these. We'll also discuss how positive living can reduce your risk of falling and how some medications and medical conditions can increase your risk potential. In addition, we'll offer advice to ensure your safety at home and in the community. A fall can damage your confidence and prevent you from participating in activities for fear that you'll fall again. However, if you reduce activity, your muscle mass and strength decrease, increasing your risk of falling. We want to help you avoid falls, and should you take a tumble, our therapists will help you to regain your strength and independence. Active participation in a recovery program following a fall is essential to your well-being. Personal, activity-related and environmental factors can cause falls, most of which are preventable. There are ways you can reduce your risk and improve your safety to lead a healthy, independent life. Factors affecting your health and well-being place you at greater risk of falling. For example, poor vision and hearing pose a significant falls risk. After all, you can't avoid an obstacle if you can't see it and you can't hear danger coming if your hearing is impaired. Be sure to wear glasses and hearing aids as required. And remember, bifocals can distort distance perception. Also, make an annual appointment with your optician and audiologist to ensure your prescriptions are up to date. If you are taking prescription medications, ask your doctor, nurse or pharmacist about the prescription, side effects and other potential treatment options. If you experience dizziness or drowsiness, contact your GP or pharmacist. Remember, taking five or more medications is proven to increase your risk of having a fall. Talk to your doctor about preventative medications and recommendations specific to your medical condition. If you suffer from incontinence, rushing to the bathroom can increase your likelihood of falling. If this is of concern, you may consider keeping a bottle or commode close to hand. Your occupational therapist can recommend appropriate assistive equipment. From the age of 30, we lose 3 to 5% of muscle mass each year. Muscle loss can affect balance and the way you walk, so it's important that you eat well and exercise regularly. It's also important to listen to your body. Recognize when you're tired and rest as required. Calcium is essential for bone health. We recommend you take three portions of calcium a day. Drinking a glass of milk and eating yogurt or cheese daily will ensure your bones get the necessary calcium. Vitamin D helps our bodies to absorb calcium. It is also known as the sunshine vitamin, which your body can produce when exposed to sunlight. However, given our climate, we can't rely on the Irish sun to make adequate vitamin D and that's why it's important that all adults over the age of 65 take a vitamin D supplement of 15 international units every day. Your doctor, dietitian, or pharmacist can advise you on supplementation. We recommend eating two to three portions of protein a day to keep your muscles strong. Protein-rich foods include meat, poultry, and eggs. Adding cheese to pasta, including a yogurt or chicken sandwich to your diet, can increase your daily protein intake. And remember to hydrate, drinking plenty of fluids throughout the day. The importance of exercise cannot be understated. Try exercising for 10 minutes, 3 to 4 times a day, and aim to complete at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise 5 times a week. Combine strength and balance exercises, yoga, resistance training and weight-bearing exercises, such as walking and dancing, for the best results. 
your physiotherapist can develop a suitable exercise program tailored to your unique needs. Osteoporosis is a common bone condition where the bones become weak. Having osteoporosis can increase your risk of fracture if you have a fall. Keeping active and eating well helps to prevent osteoporosis and some prescription medications can strengthen and protect your bones. These medications can be in tablet form taken once a week or an injection administered twice yearly. Talk to your doctor about the best medicines for you. Sleep deprivation and tiredness can impair balance and judgment, increasing your risk of injury. Take regular breaks and don't overdo activities. Rest will restore your energy levels so you can function at your best. If you are worried about falling, consider wearing a personal alarm for peace of mind. If you fall and cannot get up, press the SOS button on your alarm to alert family, friends and your alarm provider. Keep warm, keep moving and keep dry if possible, and help will soon come. An occupational therapist can provide you with a list of personal alarm providers, so you and your family can choose an alarm that meets your needs. It's important to remain active in life, so you can enjoy your independence. However, if you find everyday activities, such as washing, dressing, cooking, gardening and toileting, challenging, your occupational therapist can show you some alternative ways to perform these tasks to help you overcome any difficulties. Wearing comfortable shoes that fit well is important for your safety. Be sure to choose a shoe with a low heel, good grip on the sole and firm fastening. Long coats, robes, trousers, skirts and dresses can obscure your view of the ground below, contributing to trips and falls. Choose fitted clothes and shorter lengths for a safer wardrobe. We often consider falls risks in the community, overlooking similar dangers in our homes. Rugs, electrical cables, poorly lit steps and household pets are notorious trip hazards. Remove curling rugs, tuck electrical cables behind furniture, and if you have a pet, mind they don't trip you up. Adding a bell or a light to your pet's collar might help. It's a good idea to keep night lights on, to guide you in the dark and place brightly coloured tape at the edge of steps and stairs. And always use the handrail when climbing or descending the stairs. If you are unsteady on your feet, talk to a physiotherapist about assistive equipment to help you. And remember to use equipment only as directed. Be careful of garden trip hazards, including hoses and garden tools. And make sure the pathways around your house are clear. And be mindful that surfaces can be slippery and uneven. It's important to get out and about in the community. Watch out for cracked pavements, poor lighting and uneven steps. And take small breaks to rest when you feel tired. We hope the information within will help keep you safe and on your feet. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask a member of the hospital staff.